Are you indoors or outdoors? Indoors. Mm -hmm. Lots of noise. Tell me more. Who's making all this noise? People making noise, mm -hmm. talking, and it's, it's, it's a building. Like a big gathering area. Mm -hmm. Big gathering area? Yeah. Like a temple type thing. Mm -hmm. Describe this temple for me. Uh, looks like uh, Arabs are. Yeah, Arabs. Mm -hmm. Tell me more. What kind of people are there? Uh, I, uh, I'm an Arab woman. Mm -hmm. How are you dressed? Oh, I'm very pretty. Very pretty. Mm -hmm. What are you wearing? Oh, it's a beautiful gold dress. Hmm. What are you wearing on your feet? I have gold sandals. Mm -hmm. I have men carrying me on a on a tree. Cheer type thing. Mm -hmm. How many men are carrying you? Four men. Mm -hmm. I'm like a, I'm like a queen. Mm -hmm. I'm famous. What is your name there? Sheba. Sheba. I'm Sheba. <laughs> I'm Sheba. <laughs> Shoot. Sheba, tell me more about yourself. Where are you going? Oh my gosh. That's why all the people are there. They're there to see me. Mm. Oh. What are they saying? Oh, Sheba, Sheba. Mm -hmm. <laughs> How I'm, do you feel about all these people oh admiring my gosh. you? I'm honored. Mm -hmm. I don't know what I did for them. How old are you, Sheba? 20. Mm -hmm. Tell me more about this gathering. It's a special occasion. It's my birthday. Mm. Uh, so what are they doing for your birthday? Oh, I love cake. Mm -hmm. Cake with lots of frosting. They made a special cake. What does the cake look like? Looks many tears on it. Oh, and they're bringing the dogs. Mm. They're bringing the dogs. Look at all the babies. How many dogs are there? Oh my goodness, there's so many puppies. <laughs> Do you like dogs, Sheba? Oh, Sheba loves dogs. What kind of oh, dogs are there? They're all kinds. The little white ones. Oh, they're so cute. What do you do with these dogs? Oh, I love them. I love them. Are you still being carried? Yeah, they let me down now because they, they let the dogs in. Mm -hmm. They know it's my birthday. So who is there around you? Look around you. Oh, people. Mm -hmm. People and puppies. See if there's anybody there that's significant to you. Look around you. Who there is important? Besides the puppies.
There's a king and a queen or something mm -hmm. like that. Mm -hmm. Some kind of hierarchy. Mm -hmm. How do you feel about these two? Um, I don't feel like I have a... I love the puppies more than I love them. Mm-hmm. Are they related to you? Mm. I feel like they are. Mm -hmm. But I don't have a connect I don't have no feelings. Can you see their eyes? No. What do you feel from them? Go deep into your emotions. Like an acquaintance type mm -hmm. feeling? Mm hmm Very good. Is there anything in this scene that's important? Anything else? Mm. All right, so let's close that scene and let's go to another day in that same lifetime. Another day when something important is happening to you. Be there now. Where are you? Sitting in a garden. Mm-hmm. What does it look like? There's lots of flowers. Kind of daydreaming. Mm -hmm. Wind's blowing, it's nice and warm. I my sandals on. Old sandals. How old do you feel there? Mm, seven. Mm-hmm. What's going on in that garden? I'm just sitting there. Are you by yourself or are there yeah. others around? No, I'm by myself. Mm -hmm. So let's find out what's important about this scene. What happens next? Tell me everything that goes on. Two guys come. Mm hmm What do they look like? Two boys. Mm hmm How old are they? About my age. Mm hmm and What happened? They want to know if I want to come and play kickball. Mm -hmm. I can't play, I have sandals. What else are you wearing there besides sandals? Dress. Mm -hmm. How long is this dress? Just above my knees. Mm -hmm. can't play. How does it feel not to be able to play with these boys? Sad. Mm -hmm. Sheba can't play. Sheba can't play kickball. Are you not allowed to play with these boys? No. Are you not allowed to do anything? No. What are you expected to do? I have to be a queen. Mm -hmm. And sit on that damn chair. And be a paraded around. How 
does that make you feel? I'm honored, but I can't do anything. Mm -hmm. I have... I feel like... What do you feel? I like being a queen, but I can't do anything. There's so many limits, mm. so many rules. I can't have any fun. The only thing I can have is puppies. Mm. Are they your favorite? I love puppies. It's the only thing I can have is puppies. Mm. What do you do with your puppies? Oh, I love them. I play with them. I play ball with them. Mm. How many puppies do you have? A hundred. Mm, that's a lot of puppies. Yes, and they give me so much love. They give me so much love. Very good. So let's close that scene now. Let's move to another important scene in that same lifetime. Something that's impacting your life. Tell me where you are. Are you indoors or outdoors? Indoors, in my room. Mm -hmm. What are you doing in your room? Sitting there. How old are you there? Mm, Thirteen. So what's happening in your room? being punished. What happened? I was talking back. Not being. Who did you talk back to? Those two people that I don't connect with. I feel like I'm adopted. Because mm. I don't connect with them. Are they your real parents? No. Tell me more. I don't like them. What do they expect you to do? To just be beautiful. What would you rather be doing at 13? have friends. Do you have any friends? No. So how do you spend your day, Sheba? I eat breakfast at a long table. Mm -hmm. Sometimes they're at the other end. Otherwise, I eat alone. And then I have to go out in front of people at stadiums that came, at horse races, mm -hmm. horse, something with horses. What do you do there? I have to sit on this chair. And I got gold everything on. It's boring. Mm. All right, Sheba, so let's close that scene and let's now move to another day in that same life when something very important is happening. Where are you?
Are you indoors or outdoors? I think I'm indoors. What's happening? Connect with your emotions. Lost. Don't know what to do. What's happening there? I'm sitting on a bed. How old are you? Mm, Thirty. Mm -hmm. What do you need to know what to do? I don't want to be here anymore. What do you do now? How you spend your day? Walking through a town. Walking through a town? Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. Does anyone go with you? No. What is this town that you're walking through? It's a very old town. Dirt everywhere. Mm -hmm. Look down at your feet. Yeah, barefoot. Mm -hmm. My feet are dirty from the dirty gravel roads. What are you wearing now? A long dress. It's kind of like... I have a parasol. Mm hmm. You have a parasol? Mm hmm. Mm hmm. And I'm just walking through that town. Lost. How did you get to be in this place? Let's find out. How did you get to be lost? Did you make that decision? Yeah. What happened to make that decision? I didn't feel like I fit in. Mm Mm-hmm. It wasn't me. So I ran away. Now what? So let's advance a little bit and see where you go. Where do you end up? Mm. A beautiful farmhouse in the country. A beautiful farmhouse in the country? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's beautiful. Beautiful in what way? Just the architecture. Mm-hmm. It's beautiful. It has a white porch in the front. A white porch in the front? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh, I'm going to be a maid. You're going to be a maid? They asked me if I would be their maid. Very good. How does that feel? Yeah. What do you call yourself now? Maggie. Maggie. Mm Mm-hmm. How old are you there, Maggie? Thirty-two. Mm-hmm. So what do you do there, Maggie? I cook and I clean. Are you good at it? Mm -hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And who do you work for? They look like an older couple. They must have a have a um, type of farming business of something because they need food to be cooked for lots of people. Mm-hmm. So and let's workers. find out. I'd like for you to advance the scene to where you see who you're cooking for. Mm. Oh, the cotton. 
cotton farmers. They said cotton. They do cotton. Cotton farming? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. What year is this? Mm-hmm. So what happens next, Maggie? What's your relationship like with those that you work with? Very good. They're very nice to me. Mm-hmm. They treat me well. Mm -hmm. I have my own living quarters. Can you see their eyes? Yeah. The eyes are the window to the soul. Take a look at their eyes and see if you recognize them in the life of Sharona. Mm. You'll recognize their soul. Who are they? Mm. The guy looks like the guy from the Beverly Hillbillies. Mm -hmm. He has beautiful eyes. Blue eyes. I don't know, he would. See if you recognize their souls. You may not. No. All right, so let's move on. And let's find out what happens in that lifetime. I'd like for you to close that scene and move to another important scene when something is happening. What's happening, Maggie? I'm dying. How old are you? Seventy-three. Mm -hmm. Is there anyone with you? Mm. It looks like that guy that I work for. Mm -hmm. What relationship do you have with him now? I'm his wife. You're his wife? Yeah. Mm hmm He's by my side and the bed, by the bed. Mm-hmm. <sighs> Connect with him. Mind to mind. Let's find out what he's thinking. He loves me. How does that make you feel? Happy. Mm -hmm. So Maggie, I'd like for you now to take your last breath and transition out of that body. <sighs> and as you leave that body behind, I want you to look back and see your entire body, your entire life. Every life has a purpose and a lesson. What do you think the lesson was in that lifetime? What was the reason for you living that life? What was the purpose of it? How does it feel when you look back at that life? Was it a happy life? Maggie's life? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So now let's leave that scene. Let's leave that woman there to continue on her journey. 
And let's now go to another lifetime, another memory that is impacting the life of Sharona now. Feel yourself drifting through time and space. And be there now. Look around you. Where is this place? Oh, it's like just space. Like space, very good. Outer space, like. Mm hmm. Tell me more. Stars. Milky Way. And just floating in this. Mm -hmm. What else do you see out there? See if anything captures your attention. I'm just amazed by all the stars. Soak it all in? Mm -hmm. So pretty. Describe it. See where your soul takes you. I'd like for you to continue until you find the one that guides you. Mm. Allow that presence to show itself. Mm. It's a bright light. Mm -hmm. What color is this light? Yellow. Mm -hmm. Tell me more about this light. Mm, feels so good. Mm. It's just filling my heart. Yeah, it loves me. It loves me. Soak it all in. I love you too. Let's ask that light what it is. The source. The source. Ask Source if it would be willing to answer your questions today. Would you please be willing to answer my questions today, please? Yeah. Thank you. Let's find out a little bit about the spiritual side of Sharona. She wants to know a little bit more about the Bible. Can Source tell us about the Bible? Who created it? And what was the purpose of it? What was the Bible created for? To control the people. To control the people. Who actually wrote the Bible? Man. Man. Can you tell me who these men were that wanted to control the masses? The dark. The dark. Did they give themselves names? Anunnaki's. Mm-hmm. She has a question about Yahweh. Who was Yahweh? He wanted to be his own God. Wanted his own people. What kind of being was he? Was he a god? Yes. Mm -hmm. In what way? What kind of power did he have? He wanted them to honor him, follow his rules, make him think that he was the only one. Mm. 
Are there more of those gods? Yes. How many more? Eleven. Eleven of them. Who created these gods, these Anunnaki gods? Did you, as source? No. They're fallen angels. Ah. They're deceiving the people. So tell me more about that. How are they deceiving them? By controlling them. Mm. Rules and regulations and laws. Not allowing them to do what they've come here to do. Mm -hmm. Now some of these rules, are these the things that we find in the Bible? Yes. So for example, the clean food laws. What was meant for that? Why did that rule come into being? Some animals were honored more than others. They were uh, worshipped. Mm -hmm. So by putting restrictions on some of those animals, it saved them. Mm. And what about the feasts? The feasts were to honor Yahweh. Mm. So what would you like to tell Sharana about these rules and the things that she's been following religiously? You don't need to follow them. Light. Only follow the light. So when she prays now, what can she call upon? What name should she use? The light. The light. So the source does not have a name. Just source. Just source. Or very the light. Mm -hmm. Very good. And how does the light affect mm. our, us as individuals? Mm. Oh, it gives you energy. Mm -hmm. So why is it that she's been feeling so tired all the time without energy? She's, she's out there crowning herself at golf tournaments and walking, getting that energy. Oh, it's just that the earth is changing and so much energy is coming mm -hmm. and her body can't take it all in. She's so open to it, but she doesn't rest. She doesn't rest. Yeah, she keeps going and she's... She watches videos and just wants more information. She wants to be so knowledgeable. So, she wants to just do everything to go to the new earth. What but do you she, recommend? Oh, she needs to rest. Will she be going to the new earth? Yes. <laughs> so does she need to continuously feed her mind with new knowledge? Um, no. What does she need to do? Hmm. Just continue to be the light. Very good. Very good. She's been working with pendulums lately. And when she asks questions, they don't give her the right answers. What's going on there? Well, she thinks that the pendulum is going to give her the answer when it's all within. Mm -hmm. She needs to go within. She she doesn't need the pendulums. So that's been one of her main problems, is she doesn't know how to go within. Yeah. She doesn't know how to access that voice within. Today, we're accessing it. How does she keep this connection going in the future? She has to 
remove that second guessing, that doubting, the questioning if it's right or wrong. Mm -hmm. She confuses herself. What's the best way for her to achieve this? Removing these doubts and just trusting. going to be a process. Okay. Can you begin working with her today? Yes. Can you begin filling her with your light? Yes. And burning away some of these doubts? She wants to use this new knowing to be an animal communicator, to help heal animals either by distance or with her hands. But she wants immediate results. Is that possible? Um, some cases, yes. Mm -hmm. It all depends on the individual pet. Mm -hmm. There will always be doubters. There will. So how does she handle those doubters? She needs to be strong mm -hmm. and not let their words hurt her, their doubt to break her down. Mm -hmm. Where is this doubting coming from? Where's the origin of it? From growing up. Mm -hmm. Why did she choose a life like that? that planted so many seeds of doubt. So I think she wanted to prove she could overcome it. Mm -hmm. Has she done it? She's getting there. Mm -hmm. That's why she's watching so many videos and trying to change and to release energies that don't belong. How's she doing with it? She's doing good, but she needs help. Mm -hmm. Is this helping her today? Yes. Very good. She wants to know how to meditate better. What's the best way for her to meditate? It's not that hard. What would you like? for her to be doing to meditate? Does she need to sit and remove all thoughts or can she do it a different way? She loves nature. Just sit outside and just listen to the birds mm -hmm. and just let your mind wander. Well, she can't discern whether it's her mind or intuition. Does it matter? No. No? Just connect with nature? Mm-hmm. But what about this ringing in her ears? It's distracting her. What's causing that? It's to keep her focused. Mm. She's got so many things going that if she just listens to that ringing, it'll keep her centered. So the ringing in her ears actually was supposed to be used as a tool to focus? Yes. Instead of not focusing? Yes. So it's pretty close to what I was telling her then. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> How you would focus on an air conditioner, for example, any noise. So is she going to continue having that ringing in her ears? Yes. Does she need it? Yes. She does. Mm -hmm. Okay. Is this how she's programmed? Yes. Okay. So she could use that now as a tool. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. What, what is she doing here in the first place? Hmm. She's bringing love. She's bringing love. Well, you showed her a life of Sheba. Did she bring love into that life? No. No. What was that life all about? It's like she couldn't love. Mm. She was isolated. 
How is that life affecting her now? She's learning how to give love. And she connects more with the animals, mm -hmm. especially dogs. Is that from that lifetime? Yes. It seemed to me those were her only companions. Yes. So did she know how to communicate with the animals then? Just loved them. Mm -hmm. She just loved them. She didn't communicate. Do we need the effects of her, of her life? Or can we disconnect from that life? Yeah, we can disconnect from that. All right, let's do that, because she was very lonely in that yeah. life, wasn't she? Yes. So allow that life to be disconnected so that she's no longer affected by it. Thank you. And then she had a, we had a life of Maggie. What was the purpose of showing her that life? Teaching her to serve. To serve. Be loyal. Mm-hmm. Faithful. And by being faithful and loyal and serving, what did she, what did she get from her life? What was the lesson there? Peace. Peace. It seems like she ended up marrying her employer. Mm -hmm. What happened to the wife? She died. She died. So she continued to serve. Mm -hmm. Are those two in her life now, is anybody? No. Does she know who those are? Uh, John. Mm -hmm. She serves John. Very good. Very good. So she continues the yeah. same service. They've known each other. Yes, yeah, she loves them so much. Mm -hmm. So did their love begin in that lifetime? Yeah. Very good. So what direction should she be taking now? She needs some guidance. She needs to move to the country. She does. What's in the country that she needs there? Peace mm -hmm. and tranquility. What about all of these financial blocks that she has? She seems to sabotage herself and stops her from receiving. It comes from her parents. Mm -hmm. And she, she heard it for so many years that she just got accustomed to it. So what would you like to tell her about that? Hmm. Tell her what, what money actually is. Money is energy. So how can you manipulate this energy, like she's going to do with the dogs, to help heal this? She needs to open her heart. Mm -hmm. Is her heart closed? Yes. Mm -hmm. So can we do an exercise now to open her heart? Yes. All right. Would you allow me to use one of the crystals in this? Yes. Thank you. So I'd like to use a rose quartz crystal on her heart. It's going to be a little cold. And let's put that, that crystal there to open her heart and I'd like for you to begin using the energy into her heart that Christ light and I'd like also for the attendance of Archangel Uriel to be a part of this to help with this special unblocking of the heart and just explain to me what it is that you're doing 
so that she has it recorded. What is she feeling? Feeling the energy come through her heart. Mm -hmm. Trying to open it. What are the blocks that are keeping that heart from opening? Mm. Not being able to trust. Mm -hmm. Take her back to the origin of that. Let's find out if we can f break down that, that barrier to that trust. What's the origin of that lack of trust? The family. The family. Show her in her mind where that began so that we can heal it. When she was little. Mm hmm. Let's find out what happened when she was little. What was the major point? Pinpoint it. Couldn't depend on them. Mm -hmm. It's like she couldn't trust them. So let's find out what she did to her heart to keep her from hurting. I closed it. Because mm -hmm. I didn't want to be hurt anymore. Now I want you to think back on that little girl. And I want you to see that little girl in your mind. This hair that I'm touching here, is this the same hair as that little girl's hair? Yeah. It is? I think it's been cut many times, hasn't it? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. And the fingernails that are on your fingers, are they the same as the little girl's? No. No. And these teeth that you're wearing, that you are used for eating, are they the same as the little girls? No. No. So if you think about it, every seven years, every cell of our body has been replaced. And that little girl no longer exists, does she? No. So why have we been holding on to this blocked heart of a little girl? When this woman has grown and has felt love, has known love, and has kept this closed heart of this little girl, do we need that little girl's heart anymore? No. No. So how would you, what would, what would you like to do with this heart now? It seems very small. It feels, seems very tight. Mm -hmm. It's almost like you're wearing the shoes of a little girl, mm -hmm. but in your heart. Look into your heart and see what you've done to that heart. Closed it up. Mm -hmm. What would it take for you to open that heart? What did you close it with? Let's look. <clears throat> did you bind it? Did you put a wall around it? A wall. 
All right. Big wall. Let's see how big this wall actually is. Let's see how tall or thick it is and tell me. Oh, it's a pretty thick one. Mm-hmm. And very tall. Mm-hmm. I tried my knocking some of it down, but it's still there. Well, you're not using the tools mm. of an adult. You're using the tools of a little girl. So I'd like for you to go inside of that heart, make yourself very, very tiny, and look from the inside what this heart is made out of. What What's this wall made of around the heart? Concrete. All right. Well, you know now that you're going to be working on some very important projects of remodeling your home. And sometimes there are concrete walls, aren't there? Mm -hmm. What would you use to break down a concrete wall? It's not impossible. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> so what would you like to use? I'll use a bulldozer. All right, so let's get a nice bulldozer, put on a hard hat, and let's begin bulldozing that wall down. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to call my team of archangels to pick up the scraps. They're very big and strong, and they can quickly pick up all of those blocks that you're demolishing. And tell me what's going on now. She can breathe. Mm -hmm. Mm. So let's find out what color that heart is now. Pink. Pink. Is that the color you wanted? Yeah. Very good. So let's shine some more of that light in. <coughs> and I'd like to ask Archangel Uriel to please step in and continue working on that heart, making it bigger and bigger as Source continues to fill it with the Christ light, the most powerful light at all that there is. And tell me what's happening with her heart now. <clears throat> She's just sucking it all in. Mm -hmm. So as she sucks it all in, how will this now affect her, her future with her finances, with relationships? with her work, her healing, now having this heart connecting to the entire universe. It'll be better. Mm -hmm. Will allow her to heal better. Yes. Mm -hmm. Very good. Would you do a body scan on her, please? And let's find out what's going on with her body. Her throat. What's going on with her throat? Feels blocked. Mm -hmm. Is that a chakra or is that an energy there? Dark energy. Dark energy. Would you allow me to address this energy today so that we can send them home? Mm -hmm. Very good. So I'm going to put my hand over the throat and bring that energy up, 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 up. Good afternoon. You can express yourself now. Are you male or female energy? Male. Male. What may I call you? George. George. How old are you, George? 47. And what year is it for you? 1912. George, what are you doing in her throat? Blocking it. Blocking it. George, how is it that she was so vulnerable that you attached to her? She spoke the truth, and I didn't like that. Oh, I see. I see. George, what happened to you? What happened to your body? Car accident. Mm. And what happened after you left that body? Where did you go? In her throat. In her throat. Why didn't you go home to the light? Scared. Scared. What were you scared of? 
the truth. Mm. And what, what, what would be the truth? Did you not do very good things, George? No, I was mean. You were mean. So were you afraid of being punished? Yes. Well, I don't think that you're going to be punished when you go home to the real home. Were you punished a lot when you were a child? Yes. Yes. Well, you see, human parents are very different than where you come from, George. The Creator doesn't punish. Did you know that? No. Well, would you like to feel better, George? Yes. All right. I'd like for you to look inside of yourself for that little spark of light and tell me when you find it. It's there. It's there. George, I'd like for you to use your mind, your intention to make that spark as big as you are. Allow it to get bigger and bigger and bigger until it takes over your entire essence. And tell me how that feels. That's nice. That's nice, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Does it feel like someone that feels like this could be punished? No. No. What do you feel from that light? Relief. Mm -hmm. Did you know that that light is, is home? No. This is your creator's light. This mm. is where you came from. Mm. Do you want more of that, George? Yes. Very good. So I want you now to begin finding your way out through the top of her head. Take all of your energy from her throat. And there are some angels there waiting for you. There's Archangel Michael and the angels of the white light. What do they tell you? Welcome. Mm -hmm. So Archangel Michael is going to take you straight up to that light. Take you back home to source. And tell me when you get there. Very good. So now, George, that you're, you're at that beautiful light, send that beautiful white light to her throat, clearing it of all of your energy. And tell me when that's done. It's done. Very good. May the light of the universe <clears throat> always accompany you, George. Thank you so much. So now let me speak again with her higher self and tell me what else you find in her body. She has dark energy in her head. In her hand. Which one? Head in her head. Is that causing the migraines? Let's find out. Let's bring that energy down. Down, 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 down. You can express yourself now. Are you male or female energy? Female. Female. What may I call you? Lil. Lil? Mm-hmm. Lil, how old are you? Fifty. Fifty? What year is it for you? Nineteen twelve. Nineteen twelve. Did you know George? Yeah. Mm, what happened? What happened to your body? I don't know. How did your body die? Some kind of disease. Mm. What happened? What part of your body did it affect? My head. Mm. What was happening with your head, Lil? How does it feel? No, it hurt. It hurt. Yeah. So what happened after you left your body? Why didn't you go straight home to your light? Because I wanted to stay. Mm. But your head hurt so much, Lil. Why did you choose this beautiful woman to attach to? I wanted her to feel the same pain. Ah. So by hurting her, you thought you'd feel better? Mm -hmm. Did it make you feel better? No. No. Wouldn't it be nice to make yourself feel better? Yeah. Mm -hmm. There's only one way. <clears throat> Look for that light within you. Tell me when you find that spark of light. 
Do you see it? Yeah. Make it bigger now, Lil. Make it bigger and bigger, and you'll notice that that pain will go away. How does it feel to flood yourself with that beautiful uh, white light? Nice. Nice. Do you need to be in her body anymore? No. No. So I'd like for you now to begin clearing all of that energy inside of her head. Fill it with that same light. Fill it with that white light. Now that you are the light, you can go straight home. Tell me when you're ready. Yes. Go up through the crown of her head. And the angels are there to surround you. And Archangel Michael will take you straight home. And tell me when you get there, Lil. Thank you. May the light of the universe always accompany you. Thank you very much. So I'd like the higher self now to continue scanning her body. And tell me what else is going on. Her left hip. Mm-hmm. What's going on there? Pain. Pain. So let's bring that energy up. Up, 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 and you can express yourself now. Are you male or female energy? Male. Male? What's your name? I don't have a name. You don't have a name. Okay. Did you ever have a body? No. No. So how is it that you were attached to her? Did she create you? No. How did you attach to her? During surgery. During surgery. What happened during surgery that allowed you to connect with her? I was in the operating room. Mm Mm-hmm. What were you doing there? What was your purpose there? I don't know. I was told to go there. Well, let's find out who told you. Let's go following that line back all the way to see who sent you there. The doctor. The doctor. Why did the doctor send you there? What was his intention? Because her pelvis is tipped. Mm hmm. And they were frustrated with the surgery because they weren't getting what they wanted to get the placenta off. So, how did the doctor create that energy of yours? He was frustrated. Mm hmm. So, his frustration Mm -hmm. created this. Painful energy? Yes. What else have you been causing her? Pain in her knees. Mm-hmm. Her legs. Weight gain. Why the weight gain? How are you making her weight gain all this weight? Because when she walks, it hurts. Mm-hmm. So now knowing that you are a thought form that was created by the doctor, you can easily transform into anything else. Would you like to transform into something positive instead? Yes. What can you transform into to help her, to help her feel wonderful again? Because We can't send you away. You already have consciousness. So since you have consciousness, let's make it something really great. Love. Love. Very good. So begin the transformation now of turning yourself from this painful frustration to love. Go through her whole body and transform all of this inflammation that you've given her. 
into this wonderful, warm love. And tell me when you're done. Mm -hmm. Very yeah. good. Now, I know that since this doctor created you, you must have some attachment to this doctor, don't you? Mm -hmm. All right, so I'd like for you now to send that love all the way back to that doctor. And let's begin transforming him so that he can gain confidence in his abilities. Mm -hmm. So rather than frustration, he'll feel love and connect with his own inner voice. And now you've helped two individuals. And by helping two, the doctor can now help others, can't he? Very good. So let's keep this love flowing. And I'd like the higher self to tell me what else you found. That's it. Focus on her eyes and tell me what's going on there. She had a question about it. What's causing this narrowing of her vision? It's part of the veil. Ah. So what is she seeing through this? The reason it's cloudy one day, it's clear the next is part of the energy coming in. Mm -hmm. All parts of her body are changing. And the reason she gets the headaches also is because of the energy coming in. It's mm -hmm. so much at one time. Mm -hmm. That affects her head and eyes and ears. Is there something that you can tell us about, about this energy that's coming in? It's intense. Mm -hmm. Where is it coming from? Uh, it's the galactic mm -hmm. energy. Mm -hmm. Everybody feels it differently. Some people have s lots of hunger, mm -hmm. feel they need to eat lots of food. Mm -hmm. Next day, they have no appetite. Bodies are adjusting to the energy that's coming from the sun. It's important to get the sun. What happens when we are in the sun? It raises our vibration. Mm -hmm. Now, we've been told many times not to go out into the sun without sunscreen. What would you like to say about that? Don't wear sunscreen. Don't wear sunscreen. It starts cancer. Mm -hmm. Wear light clothing if you can't tolerate the sun. Mm -hmm. But only you only need to be in the sun 20 minutes. Okay. And if you can't get sun in your upper body, stick your legs out into the sun and just get your feet covered okay the sun because the sun comes up through your feet i see so we need at least to get our legs out there at least your legs mm -hmm. what happens when it's very cold outside and we can't get out into the sun you need to bundle up bundle up you need to bundle up and at least get your face and some sun on your face mm -hmm. it's not going to burn you in the winter time so just get out there. Just get out there. Mm -hmm. Very good. Anything else that you would like to tell her today about what she needs to be looking out for with these new energies? Mm. She needs to listen to her body when she's fatigued. She needs to rest, mm -hmm. but she feels guilty. Guilty of resting when things should be done around the house mm -hmm. or the dogs. So... Can I ask for a guide on her behalf to help her with that? Yeah. So that she can bend time a little bit, so that she can get some sleep yeah. and rest? Yeah. Very good. Now, we had talked about the fact that she's holding on to this weight. 
What else would you like to tell her about this wage? Are we going to start melting it off now? Yes. All right. Anything else that we're going to help her with today? Can you work on her third eye? Yeah. Mm hmm So she can help those dogs even more and mm -hmm. help others. Mm hmm mm hmm And would you do a scan on her chakras and see how they're working? Are they okay? Her solar plex needs a little help. All right. Would you begin adjusting that today? Mm-hmm. Thank you. Mm -hmm. You tell me when it's done. Thank you. And would you tell me if her aura is intact? Yeah, she does a good job of grounding. Very good, very good. So I'd like at this time for the higher self and source to fill her with that beautiful white light from head to toe. And I'd also like to call in Archangel Raphael to continue working with Sharona as she progresses every night, continue healing her, filling those spaces that were inhabited before by these attachments, filling those spaces up and begin healing her and helping her as she melts away this excess energy that was around her body. And is there anything else that you would like to say? Everyone needs to drink more water. Mm -hmm. Anything else? No. Thank you. Welcome back. How do you feel? Wow. You must have been crying. <laughs> mm, must have been, huh? What do you remember? Oh. Um, I just remember the little girl with the feet in the river mm -hmm. or the creek. Mm -hmm. Anything else? Mm. How long do you feel you were on this journey? How did it feel like to you? Oh, uh, hour and ten. Does it have felt? Yeah. An hour and thirty. Oh. oh. <laughs> but you don't remember anything? Uh, I remember Maggie. Yeah. She was uh, the maid. Mm -hmm. She loved that man, mm -hmm. and he loved her. You were getting a lot out of it that you didn't, weren't expressing. Mm -hmm. Do you remember anybody else? Any other past life? Oh, yeah, Sheba. Mm hmm. Hmm. Huh. Lots of dogs. Lots of dogs. A hundred dogs. Yeah. Interesting, huh? Yeah, that's why I almost like dogs. Mm -hmm. It's almost what I can. Yeah. Huh. So what do you feel about this session? Hmm. Pretty personal? No. No? Uh, I would. You feel good about yeah. it? Yeah. Yeah. I learned from all the other videos, so mm -hmm. I would want others to learn from mine. Yeah. Because it's, it's information that they're searching for, too, just like I am. Mm -hmm. You know? Mm -hmm. So... That's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> so how does your body feel? Tingly. Tingly? Yeah. Well, while you sit there and tingle, I am going to give you some shungite to hold so we can ground you. So let's replace that with well, these. Go outside and take my shoes off and <laughs> stand in the grass. And how did the rose quartz? Yeah, oh. it's weird how you could... You could feel it. You could feel it? Was it vibrating? Yeah, it just felt, I mean, it was cool. At first it was cold. Yeah. And then it warmed up. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Got quite a healing on that, huh? Yeah. Wow. Yeah, big walls to, to tear down. Yeah. Now you know where it came no, from. No, yeah, it explains everything. Mm-hmm. You know, you really don't think that your childhood... You think that you've, you know, dealt with stuff, but re in reality, you haven't. It's only at a surface level. Mm -hmm. It has to be at the heart level. Yeah. And I think that's what people struggle with is how to release it from the heart. Mm -hmm. You know. How does your heart feel now? It feels 
wide open right now. <laughs> I'm going to win the lottery tonight. <laughs> <laughs> I got my ticket, so I'm going to win. <laughs> good, good. Set that intention. That's all you need. Yep. We had Source talking yeah. to you. Yeah. What do you think about this session? Awesome. So tell everybody what you felt. <sighs> Just a relief. Um, just getting all my questions answered that I had yeah. and um, just knowing that I'm on my right on the right path yeah and uh, I don't need to doubt anymore I mean it's it's all here <laughs> so I just pay attention. when you when you came here one of the I think the main issues is you didn't know what your higher self sounded like mm -hmm. so now tell everybody what you feel what was that like the higher self is just you it's just you talking and mm -hmm. um, those questions of of doubt um, is the ego mm -hmm. saying no, you can't do it. But yeah. you gotta break through that ego and yeah, yeah. So do you feel like now you know where that connection is? Yeah, yeah. I think it's gonna be easier to to meditate now and just be out in nature. I mean, I thought meditation was so hard that I was, you know, doing every video that I could yeah. to get this own feeling, you know, <laughs> and I didn't have it. And I thought, oh, it's, so now it's what, what, something so easy. So what did you get from it? What, what, what should meditation be for you? Relaxing. Just relax. Mm -hmm. Because I'm a go, go, go person. My, that's just the way I am, that I mm -hmm. just need to relax and um, just Wash the birds and just imagine. Yeah, that's, that's pretty honest. much it. Yeah. So, do you recommend this for other people? Absolutely. So, tell them how you prepared for it. How would you prepare for it? How would you tell somebody else to prepare for it? Um, just come with a list of questions and um, just go for it. It's just awesome. Uh, I haven't had coffee all week, <laughs> which I'm a big coffee drinker. Wow. How do you feel? And actually, I think I'm going to keep going. No more coffee because, <laughs> yeah, it just makes a big difference. You just feel you like feel lighter. Better. You feel lighter. Good. So you know? now it'd be interesting to see how you feel after this. Yeah. Yeah. Excellent. Yep. And my new life begins today. Today. <laughs> At this moment. Yeah. <laughs> so if you would like a session with me, just go to albawyman.com. I book way far ahead, and I do travel. Right now we are in Minneapolis, Minnesota, um, and I do go all over the place. If you want me to go to a city near you, or if if you want a session near city within <laughs> near you, go to my um, website on the Out of Town tab. There is a sign up for my mailing list, and I usually go to big cities around the world, and. If you get the newsletter saying that I am coming to a city near you, you have to sign up fast. How yep. did, how did yeah. you do it? You sent me the newsletter, and within 10 minutes, I was on, and she was already booked by the end of the day. That's so, right. I yeah. mean, I could book, like, within 15 minutes yeah. for all my sessions, so it has to be really, really fast. I don't even have time to post it on my website. Yeah. It's just that fast. Yeah. So I hope to get to uh, meet uh, some of you out there, and uh, keep watching the videos. I think you're learning a lot. Bye. <laughs> Give me that hug. Ooh.